Are you thinking of how to start snow farming business? Or are you asking yourself how you are going to take off and start this farming business? Then this is the right video for you. At the end of the video, you are going to get exactly something like this. So please, don't rush to skip this video. Keep watching this video because everything I'm going to show you here is something that some people pay money for. Don't be in a rush and start something you have no experience or idea on. So keep watching my video. Subscribe and notify, ring the bell. So anytime I give video, you can watch. Okay, so begin with, you are going to get your loamy soil. This is a rich loamy soil. The soil has to be rich. Snows enjoy rich loamy soil as plant to do. So you first get to loamy soil and then the first thing we have to do is to heat the soil. Now the reason we heat the soil, I've said in many of my videos, is to kill every termite, every insect, every egg that this insect have laid in the soil that will harm the snows. So this is how you are going to do it. You understand? You are going to put it on fire for it to heat. You get me? Yes, like this. You see, it's really heated. So this is how it has to be. You heat it a while. And then after that, you go to the next um, procedure. Watch this carefully. This is the next step. You get your ties. You see, this place is cemented. So I just place a tie on the cemented floor. Now you have a place where it is not cemented. You don't you, you can't put the tie there just like that. You know here it's cemented, so it's ants free. You can go ahead and put the treated sandy soil, uh, loamy soil in. Then with this, you can see I've put in a sack on the ground before placing the ties on because this soil, this ground is not cemented, and I'm afraid of ant that might find its way into the tie. So this is the difference. You see. Then quick forward, we move to treating the um leaves. This is the plantain leaves. That one also, you are going to put it into hot water. You soak it into hot water. The reason is the same. To kill ants, to kill egg laid by these insects so that they don't affect the snows. You understand? So that's the purpose. After that, you dry it. So I did this before starting everything. I did this a day before. So by the time I'm, by the time I'm ready, I will get my leaf ready to um to put in the pens. Then afterwards, you see the sun has the the heated sun is now cooled. So like I'm I'm putting it into the um tie, and you can see I'm sieving it. I do not just put the sun in. I'm sieving it to get rid of any hard objects like glasses, stone, rubber, like anything that the ants won't be affected should um they eat. You understand? So the reason why I'm doing this is to make sure everything is clean. And everything is okay everything is safe for the snow so you have to protect it so after here then you prepare their feed one side i'm going to feed them with cocoa yam leaf and then popo leaf you understand yeah so this is what you are going to do and as you can see with the other tie they were two this is what i'm doing i'm mixing the soil with um calcium this is grinded uh, sorry powdered um eggshell so this is how you do you mix it with the sun so when they, you know they eat the sun that's another way that you can provide them with the calcium and don't forget you can also use spare leaves as shades for them instead of plantain um leaves you should always remember in feeding them you have to give them variety of feed you know you see later on i added okra leaves and then i added moringa you understand so this if you do it this way Every snow will have a choice, like to choose food that they want to eat. You understand? So this is the moringa leaves. And then I place them water. Once a while, you give them water that they will drink. You understand? Snow farming is something that we don't rush. Like, it needs time and attention. Early in the morning, you have to go and check up with your snows. You understand? Like, you have to be active. You have to take care of them. You see, make sure they are always fed. Make sure you change their, 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 their food. You understand? Make sure every morning you take away all the food you fed them previous day. You understand? And then change everything. Like their feces, their waste. You don't have to, you don't, you don't have to be in the pain. Because once they are in, they turn into maggots. I will give you an example like this. You see, this is their, um, um, their waste. You know? 
Look, look at it. It is turning into a maggot. They are turning into maggots. Something like this. If your snow eats, like they are in this, they will, they will fall sick and they will die. You understand? So you have to clean it and make sure that everything is okay in there. You get me? So yes, please. Um, This business is a really good business. Like you're really going to make money out of it. Snows are for rich people. <laughs> you understand? So yeah, you see, you cover it nicely like this with the net, you know, so that this insect and this ant doesn't come inside. Yeah, if you do it this way, you don't have any problem, okay? So please subscribe, okay, and follow me so I give you updates.